If you're a Mac user, there's one button I can guarantee you're not using enough. The Option Key. This key enables a ton of hidden features and functionalities that most people are not aware of. The things you can do with the Option Key aren't always visible in the OS, which is why most people are totally sleeping on the potential it has. So what does the Option Key do? It does so many things I can't realistically fit it all in one video, but I'm going to show you my top 20 ways to use the Option Key, and I can guarantee you're going to walk away with some new tricks you didn't know about. These are in no particular order, but let's start with this one. You have a photo open in preview, and the rotate button only rotates in one direction. Hold down the option key, and you'll be able to rotate it the opposite way. While writing, hold down the option key, and then use the arrow keys to jump one word at a time instead of going just one character at a time. This also works when deleting text. Hold down option, and hitting the delete button will delete text one word at a time. In Finder's column view, you can resize one column at a time. But if you hold down the option key, it will resize all columns simultaneously. Another cool trick when working with the column view, if you have files or folders with long names, double-click the line at the end of a column, and it will expand to reveal the full file name. Similarly, when you're resizing windows, you usually resize one corner at a time. But if you hold down the option key, your window resizes equally from all four sides. This works with any application, and you can do it from the corner, from the top, or from the side of any window. This one requires a little help from the Shift key, but if you hold down Shift and Option while adjusting volume, it will adjust your volume in smaller increments. The same thing works with display brightness. In your display settings, you normally have a couple of options to choose between larger text or more space. Hold down the Option key and click one of those options, and you'll see a list of available resolutions. You can also use the Option key to type in almost any special characters. Just hold down Option while hitting any letter or number, and you'll find a wide selection of special characters. My personal favorite is the bullet point. I used to Google it and then copy-paste it from a website to my text, but now I can just hit Option and number 8 to type in a bullet point anytime I want. This one is super simple, but I love it. When you're in Finder, just hold down the Option key alone, and you'll see the folder path to the location you're currently looking at. You can also have this always visible by hitting Option, Command, and P. Another Finder trick, hold down the Option key when right-clicking any file or folder, and you'll get different options in the context menu that opens. I think the most useful ones here are the option to change which application is always used to open a specific type of file, or opening the inspector instead of the Get Info window. If you're not familiar, Inspector and Get Info are basically the same view. But Get Info shows info only for a single file or folder, where Inspector can show the same information for multiple files and folders at the same time. For example here, I can use the Inspector to show info for all these files at once. If I used Get Info, I would end up with 51 info windows for each file. Moving on, you can use the Option key to copy files. Normally in Finder, if you drag and drop a file, it will simply move that file to another location. Hold down the Option key while doing this, and it will leave the original file in place and create a copy to your destination folder. If you're using widgets, holding down the Option key will reveal a little delete button, allowing you to delete them with one click. This works both on the desktop and for the widgets in your notification center. By the way, this book from Dave Grohl is amazing. Highly recommend. Another cool one I bet you didn't know about. Hold down Option while clicking the date and time up here, and it will turn on Do Not Disturb mode on your Mac. I love doing this to shut up my Mac when I'm in a meeting, and notifications start popping up while I'm trying to focus. This one's pretty basic but useful for many people. Hold down the Option key while right-clicking an app in the dock, and you can force quit it comes in handy when an application freezes. Next up, a couple of keyboard shortcuts. 
Option Command Space opens up a new Finder window with the search bar activated. And one of my favorites is to hit Option Command and H to hide everything except the active application. Hold down the Option key while using the Go menu in Finder and you can reveal your library folder, which is hidden by default. This is where a lot of plugins, system data, cache files, and similar things are located. Your library has a lot of important files for your system to work properly. So even though sometimes users might need to access this to delete something, make sure to proceed with caution and not delete anything you're not sure about. Here's another finder trick. Normally when you copy paste a file, it does just that. Copies it to a new location. But if you hold down the option key while pasting it, it will move the original without creating a copy. When quitting an application, hold down the option key and you'll have the option to keep all the windows saved so they'll open the next time you launch this application. Now, when I launch Preview again, it will pull up the same documents I had open when I quit the application. If you navigate to System Settings and Desktop and Dock, you can change the default behavior for this. You can either choose to always close all windows when quitting an application, just like I have it here. Or if you disable this, your Mac will always save the windows. In that case, holding down the Option key will do the opposite and close the windows when quitting an application. Hold down Option while clicking the Apple menu, and some of the options will slightly change. With the Option key pressed down, you can restart or shut down without the confirmation prompt popping up. You can also jump straight to the System Information menu, which is a nice shortcut to have. And one more trick. Everyone knows that hitting the spacebar will open Quick Look. But if you hold down Option key while using Quick Look, it will put you to a full screen slideshow view. And that, my friends, wraps it up. There are a million more ways to use the Option key. Some are useful, some not so much. But overall, it's one thing that goes unnoticed more than it should. I hope you learned something new, and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Was there something here you didn't know about? Something you're going to start using after this? Let me know. Hit the subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you in the next video.